Gain. So traffic says to one zero uniform. Take an active runway one seven. Be uh, north departure. Climbing to three thousand five hundred. Gain. All right, guys. We're going to demonstrate a uh, power on stall, and I'm going to simulate on takeoff uh, a power on stall, and then this is why we practice it uh, up at altitude in case we ever run into the situation. It's just like a normal takeoff to where we pull up too much or we're trying to outclimb an object as high density altitude and we start to stall the airplane. Okay, so I'm going to go full power and we're looking for rotation at 60 miles an hour. Remember that once we get up into the air. Maintain the center line a little bit of a crosswind. Alright, so there's 60 miles an hour. Okay, so I'm just going to keep pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling until the stall warning's going off like that and it starts to do a stall. Now we gained a lot of altitude right there, but what if we actually got into a uh, stall right there? Well, I already have full power, so I can't ask the airplane for any more uh, performance. The only thing I could do to break the stall in that situation is to lower the nose. And, as you notice, our airspeed was low. It was right around 60 or 55 whenever uh, it started to stall. And so we'll uh, demonstrate that uh, up at altitude here in just a few minutes. Okay guys, we just completed our uh, clearing turns. We're at uh, 3,500 and I'm going to show you guys what a power on stall looks like uh, up at altitude. Okay, first off, we're going to be a normal cruise and we want to do like, you know, pretty much a before takeoff checklist. We're going to make sure mixture's full rich, carburetor heat's in, um, you know, max on boat, gas on, all that stuff. Okay, simulate we're actually going to be taking off. Okay, alright, so you can see right now our airspeed's at 100 miles an hour. Well, if I go ahead and start pitching for a stall right now, our nose is going to be almost straight up by the time the airspeed bleeds off enough to where actually uh, get into the stalling situation and stuff. So what you want to do is you want to reduce the power, and once you go back in with the power of the book, the PTS says that you have to have 65% uh, power, so that's going to be about 1800 RPM. So I'm just going to reduce the power, pull carburetor heat on, and let the airspeed bleed off to about 60 miles an hour, because that's what a rotation speed is going to be at. Just like while ago, where I took off, I'm rotating 60, and I start pitching, pitching, pitching way up until it starts to get in a stall. Alright, so there's 60 miles an hour, so now I'm going to go 1800 uh, on the RPM, and I'm just going to slowly pitch up. Making sure that I'm nice and coordinated. I just always check wings level, coordination, airspeed. Wings level, coordination, airspeed. There's a stall warning horn. And if this is a real life situation, the only thing we should do is lower the nose. Okay, the stall warning went away and we're starting to gain a little bit of airspeed. That recovers us from the stall before we actually ever get into it. Because in real life, we're going to have full power in. Like I said on the takeoff while ago, we're not going to have any more performance to give us. And so the only thing we can do in that situation is lower nose. So let's go ahead and do a full power on stall. So I'm pitching up. Wings level coordinated. Wings level coordinated. Wings level coordinated. All right, so there's the stall warning. So it should break here in just a second. Alright, there we go, opposite runner, nose down, and we're going to let bleed, uh, bleed up uh, or gain a little bit of airspeed, and we're going to pitch back up to the horizon. We're going to go full power to recover from this maneuver. We're already going to have full power if it's a real life situation. And then just go back to normal cruise, 2300, and lean the mixture. And that's going to be a power on stall. So just remember, once the nose starts to break, don't roll aileron, just kick it opposite rudder, whichever, the, whichever direction the nose starts to break.